This is an unpaired evidence question. These are unusual. There are not usually that many on the SAT. Basically, it's like an evidence pair where we've got an answer and then another question that talks about the line references, except it's almost like they answered the first part for us, so we can just focus on the evidence. And the evidence needs to support the question. So the question is really important here. We need to make sure we, we know what we're looking for and what our line reference is supposed to do. And so let's just read it. Which choice best supports the idea that seeds present in fields plowed at night are exposed to some light? So seeds at night have some light. It's a nice little poem. So now we're looking to match those ideas in these line references. So let's go to 31 to 36. That's a lot, but it's right here. That's line reference A. More recently, Karl Hartmann of Erlingen University in Germany reasoned that when farmers plow their fields during the day, the buried weed seeds are briefly exposed to sunlight as the soil is turned over and that this stimulates their germination. So it's about the daytime. That's wrong. We need it to be about the nighttime. Okay, 36 to 38, uh, right here. Although the light exposures uh, from plowing may be less than one millisecond, that can be enough to induce seed germination. Again, we're talking about light exposure during the day. So that's just not matching with what we're being asked. So it's gone. 43 to 47 is down here. Uh, although even under these conditions, hundreds of millions of photons strike each square millimeter of ground each second, this illumination is below the threshold needed to stimulate the germination of most seeds. Okay, well this doesn't talk about night or day. And in fact, this is one of those cases where I would want to read beyond the line reference. Normally for evidence questions, we can just stick to the lines that they give us and that's it. But if there's something in those lines that's unclear, like in this case a pronoun, we should read and try to make sure we understand what they're referring to. So I want to know what are these conditions? Are they day conditions or are they night conditions? Let's see. Let's read back. Thus, the germination of weed seeds would be minimized if farmers simply plowed their fields during the night when the photon fluence rate, the rate at which photons hit the surface, is below 10 to the 15th photons per square meter per second. So under the conditions of nighttime, that's what this is about, Hundreds of millions of photons strike each square millimeter of ground each second. This illumination is below the threshold needed to stimulate the germination of most seeds. This is the answer. It's talking about night, and it is saying that some light hits the seeds. It's not enough to germinate them, but it's some. It's some, and that's good enough. That's what the question wanted. So let's read D just to be sure, but I'm pretty confident that C is the answer. D 48 to 52 is right here. Hartman says that he was very skeptical when he first came up with this idea because he assumed that such a simple method of weed control as plowing at nighttime must be ineffective or it would have been discovered long ago. Okay, well, it's not saying that light hits it. It's just saying that plowing the fields at nights would be good. That's, that's not the same as C, where it's very clearly saying that light is hitting that soil and hitting those seeds, so it's a much better match. And that's really all we're doing with these, is we are finding matching ideas. The key is to be very clear up front what ideas you need to match with. If you're just diving into those line references kind of empty-headed, yeah, you're going to have trouble sorting through all this weird science stuff. But if you have goals, if you take the question, pick it apart, and turn it into things that you're looking for, suddenly those line references are going to make a lot more sense. And that's what we did, and that's how we got the answer.